Bang! Neves Knives, I'm Jared, and we are going to cut some cardboard with this rock stud. This is about a thousand, right around a thousand dollar knife. You find them for right around eleven hundred dollars, between nine hundred and eleven hundred dollars. This is the rock stud Higo, and we're going to cut some stuff with it, and then we're going to give it a little stropping, and then we are going to look at it under a 60 time zoom microscope. We're going to look at that convexed zero ground edge that's oh so beautiful. Let's check it out. Butter, baby. Now, this is kangaroo leather. This is a strop from Urban EDC Strops. Um, they're out of Australia, and this is kangaroo leather that they source, source from Australia. And I got some of their stropping compound on here. Now I am planning on getting some specific stropping compound just for this knife. I have some stuff I um I thought was going to work, but I think I'm going to get something just a little bit finer. Let's take a zoom. All right, let's take a close look at it. It looks pretty good. There are some little minor surface scratches, but nothing too bad. And I am planning on getting some better um, stropping compound for this kind of mirror polish. So it's, um, you know, so that I can bring back that real luster or a real uh, mirror finish but you see there is the edge not too bad but you do see some good scratches in it they're not really scratched they're like they're so tiny that i know they can strop out with a high enough grit or a low enough micron now this side actually has a bit more scratches than the other side you can see the edge right there uh, i don't know what that line is but probably uh just a piece of the fabric come on it's very difficult to do this but you see it right there this side is a little bit um more scratched up than the other side that's some of the compound on the bottom of there from stropping it but that is what a zero grind looks like up close now i've never put a micro bevel or anything on this so i know i've heard i'm not sure how true it is but i heard that if you send these into rocks that they get sharpened they just put a regular edge bevel on them so possibly in the future, I'm going to get some stropping compound and really work this convex back to polish and get it back to razor, razor sharp. But 
maybe in the future when that's not possible no more i will sharpen it so we'll see how that goes let's test it on a piece of paper really quick see how sharp it still is this is basically the same thing as phone book paper it's very difficult to to cut without something very sharp very nice So it still is incredibly sharp, but it's not as sharp as it was. Meaning when I first got it, obviously um, stropping it does help, but you can see it's still incredibly sharp. And I'm sure after I get some other compounds, um, I'll really be able to to bring that edge back, you know, just doing, just convexing this, you know, uh, with, the, with the stropping motion, really get the convex going. Um, but yeah, there you guys go. Rocksteady Ego in action. Peace.